All right, chat, YouTube, it's time for 61 card mono blue belcher. This is the list that Goomwick used to win the challenge with Tameshi over a lot of the other pieces that the selective memory Thassa's Oracle builds are playing. Instead, we're just playing Tameshi as sort of like a ramp spell with the Lotus Bloom. You can also use it to ramp with Whir, and if you ramp with Whir, then you can, uh, where's, where's here, right? Yeah. I said, where's the Whir? It was off screen hiding. You can use it to ramp with Whir and then Whir out the Goblin Char Belcher and then activate the Goblin Char Belcher immediately. I think it's a pretty sweet looking list. I've been asked to play it quite a few times, but I haven't really gotten around to it till now. But this is a much more controlling version of Belcher than you typically see in other lists, which are like trying to go all in with Recross the Pats. This one's just playing some cantrips in the form of Preordain and Bobble the Cycle and also four copies of Counterspell to be able to Counterspell all the threats that your opponent plays there's also you know a bunch of mdfc's all of these are lands pretty much the russes here let's uh rearrange this a little bit put all the mdfc's in one pile there we go and then the waterlog teachings as well so you got 22 lands or mdfc's here and then you got your uh, Lotus Blooms to help ramp, but you got Pact of Negation to ensure your combo goes through, four copies of Counterspell, counter your opponent's threats, Pentad Prism to ramp into the Belcher faster, Tameshi gets you back your Lotus Blooms and ramps you a ton. Force of Negation is a pretty good way of ensuring that you can just tap out and not die on your opponent's turn. Four copies of Char Belcher, your win condition for words to get your Char Belcher. One fun of common deer is the 61st card, which we could probably just cut. I don't think it's necessary in the slightest, so let's just cut the one common deer and play 60. Uh, if, as for the MDFCs, which is at the mana base, so Waterlog Teachings is pretty relevant. You can search your library for an instant card with a flash, uh, reveal it, put it in your hand, and shuffle. So you can search for Word because Word is an instant. You got Sink into Stupor, which is a counterspell esque, remand esque card. You got Suppression Ray, which is tap all creatures your opponent controls. You may pay any amount of energy if you do, put that many stun counters on them. You got Seagate Restoration, which draws you a million cards. Rush of Inspiration is a divination. And Specimen is a uh, Spell's Guide style of ability. Sideboard-wise, we got one copy of Tormod Script for Graveyard Hate. We got a couple copies of Spell Snare. Sorry, the entire play set of Spell Snare against Boros, I guess. A couple copies of Echoing Truth to remove hate pieces. Two Damping Spheres for Storm. And then three Harbingers for the big mana decks. A copy of Ensnaring Bridge to make sure you don't die. And then two Subtleties. Yeah, no Jawari Disruption. Got two lands to me or three lands to Meshi's counter spell force. Uh her pact. I don't think this hand's good enough. I'm not running the bounce land. You can't play any lands in this deck. I think this hand's good though. Put back to preordain. I don't really need to preordain. Yeah, we're playing four copies of Snake and Stupor. Prowess. That for Waterlog's teachings, go. It's a lot of damage. She's a fine blocker, I guess. And discharge there, and then grow it up to six points of damage. Can't really interact with them, so. Gonna have to take my beats as they come. Land instant artifact. No delirium yet. Unstable amulet. Got another hasty threat. I'm going to 10 here. Oh no, I'm going to 8 here. Which means I'm dead to 3 spells. Or 2 if one of them is a lightning bolt. Uh, 
I don't think it's worth the bolt myself and put Tameshi into play. We're getting dead to one spell. Does my opponent have a spell in hand? Let's hope they don't have a single spell in hand. Ah, shucks, they have a spell. Alright, aggro. Very aggro, aggro deck on top of that. Let's take the spell snares. I didn't do anything for the first three turns of the game. And my opponent's so lucky. I'll take a pack to negation. I just want to like that. I think I have force negation as well. Maybe I swap two forces for two subtleties. That propaganda, that's kind of sweet. I don't think his hand does anything. Like a reasonable hand, but... Doesn't seem too great. Hands better. But back to Tameshi, and hope for the best. Is a five mana spell. This is a four mana spell. This matchup feels impossible. It doesn't look great. Mostly because I'm not casting anything. Ouch. I might be dying here without casting a single spell. All match. I could shock, go to 10, were for Lotus, but I don't have any untap lands. So I guess I'm just passing the counter spell. I gotta survive at two turns. I don't think that's happening. Taking six, seven, eight, nine. Good. I'm once again dead to a single spell. But I think I can preordain into. Nah, I'm just dead. Mm -hmm. I think this hand's reasonable. I think both of those were burn, if I remember correctly. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it wasn't beans, I'll tell you that much. I think Scam got close to breaking the PB, but I think both of those were on burn. Or mod script in the main deck, huh? Interesting. Lotus! Play that pass. Next time I get the Tameshi back, the bobble. If I want. I guess I need an additional mana, right? It needs to be a white mana, too. Plus two augers, minus two counter spells. They're playing Flaji, Thunder Trap, Tameshi. Interesting. I guess I'm not going to be able to mesh you back anything. This can come in untapped. Wait, the mesh pass. You can make a sweet list too. My opponent does have Metallic Rebuke, but. We can kill him in two turns. Mills the Lotus and finds the Belcher. That does sound pretty good, huh? I was getting their bobble back. Cast the thought cast. 
Yeah, Falaji is probably better than Augur. And even Trainer, most likely. I don't think I'm supposed to return this bobble. Oh, I can't anyways. I need white mana. And the only way I can make white mana is with the, the lotus right now. I don't have suppression field or suppression rays or whatever it's called. The blue white land. They are dead next turn though. And I have a pact as well. And a sink of the stupor. They're playing a shadow spear. <gasps> Alright, they just conceded. I guess that makes it easy for me, huh? Um... Against Affinity, where they have Metallic Rebuke, I'm not sure I even want any of this. I could just run it back. I think I'm just gonna run it back. And maybe just cut Counterspell altogether and just be on a Flare of Denial. But, like, little package is probably better. Because I think being able to cast it while having exactly 7 mana to fire the Belcher is going to be important. Or, you know, just fighting on your own turn. Yeah, I kind of want to go to 0 Counterspells. And then just play, like, Balaji and uh, Flare of Denial. Is hand good? I don't think so. Might be fine enough though. These bobbles are awkward, I see what you're saying now. Like, these bobbles aren't really helping me advance my plan. I do get to like cycle them, but it's just like if I cycle these bobbles, then I, I draw a lotus, for example, I won't be able to suspend it until the following turn. I think I'd rather these be like street rates. We wanted to play like a 56 card deck. They hit Bobble, Spring Leaf, Spring Leaf. Opponents on the three Bobble plan as well. The Bobbles are kind of fine with Warrior. They got consigned to memory. I'm drawing Force and Negation. I don't know. I've only played one match so far, and I didn't even really get to play that match. I don't think I have a good opinion yet. Yeah, street rate's probably not good because you're bolting yourself constantly. But I do like the idea of the Thunder Trap trainers and whatnot because it just gives you chump blockers against aggro. Alright, they get a bobble draw. I'm drawing an extra card every turn. I gotta beat consigned to memory. Being able to beat consigned to memory seems tough. How'd I beat that card? If they just like replicated a ton of times. Where are my silences? Oh, blue white with silence? I can also just consign the last trigger of the Lotus. That'd be pretty bad for me as well. We have Pentad Prism. But other than that, there's pretty minimal ways. That's true, two colors without... A real mana base can be pretty tough. I think I'm probably just going to cast the uh, Rush of Inspiration. Try to dig a little bit deeper. So Tameshi nets me two mana every single time I go through this loop.
Honestly, I don't want to F6. I do want to hold the Porus. I mean, Porus pitched to Meshi pretty freely. I have a feeling they're going to consign the Lotus. Um, play sync tapped pass. They make a construct. It's pretty beefy. Four four. Do they make another though? Yeah, EOT rush. I don't really care if I discard any of these cards. They're all pretty mediocre. And one match compared to Infinity. Maybe I am gonna have to sink for. Oh, they named Tameshi. Oh. I have a negative balance of 55 euros. Well, I mean, they already needled Tameshi. I don't care about this. Probably not. I mean, look, Oculus is sweet. I'm not going to deny it. I don't think this actually matters. But maybe I can bait them to thinking that it matters. Maybe they fight over this. I don't know, damping sphere doesn't matter in the slightest. Tapping out a consign to memory, huh? Hmm. Yes, I am gonna force it. If I can preordain to Belgium. Well, it taxes my Belcher if I preordain, right? And I can't Belcher and kill them next turn. If I draw land or Belcher. Oh, well. I guess it's just too easy. Ah, <gasps> no! I can't afford it. I mean, I got hard cast force, I guess. But no, if I like, if I let the damping sphere resolve and I cast the Belcher, I couldn't even force because it gets taxed anyways. So. Just so many bubbles. I have to mesh these needles. I guess I'll preordain into Belcher number two. I hope that they don't have any counter magic. I need land plus Belcher. Just win. Hollow one went well. Made it the four one with Hollow one. Another preordain's not gonna do it. Actually, the suppression ray saved me. Let me pay any amount of energy. This thing doesn't generate energy inherently. What a bad card. Surprise it doesn't say like gain two energy.
Um, I mean, I don't think I'm boarding any differently. Maybe I want Echoing Truth for Needle. Maybe down two forces. Or it's kind of just rotted in my hand, because if they're going to bring in Damping Sphere and stuff like that, it doesn't really matter. Just let the Damping Spheres go. Hands really good. You can't stun tapped creatures. Didn't know that. Tap land, go. I think this deck kind of dunks on energy, which is the reason to play this deck. I think energy has a really hard time beating it. Good old bobble. Being pretty much useless. I guess I am going to play the Pentad Prism. For one. And opponent's not playing any frog mites. I said. Cappy Cannon here. Heck yeah. To match you go. Yeah, these bobbles suck. That doesn't though. That's pretty dang good. Damping spheres beatable. In fact, damping spheres very beatable. It's time to fire the cannon. Lotus on the stack. A1 Lotus. It's Tameshi time. Blue Lotus return. Pick up this land and I get to play it. Shock or bolt myself. Blue. Return Lotus. I'm making a lot of mana chat. I cast Goblin Char Belcher. I'll activate Goblin Char Belcher. Negative 27. Alright. 1-1. One, one. Uh, I think this is a keep even though I don't have a payoff yet. I got a rush of inspiration. And a few turns to find the bell tree. No more prowess, please. Ignoble hierarch? What now? Oh, there's that payoff. Yay. Now I need them not to thought seize me for the next two turns. Slick shot show off. Ignoble hierarch? Whoa. I did get the prowess matchup. Again. Hmm. 
I don't think I'm dead anymore. Agree? Okay, I guess I am then. Detectives Phoenix? Are they playing FOMO with Slickshot? That's pretty sweet. I like that. All right, turn four, Conjure a W. Cool deck, too bad you're dead. By a Zikannon. Cannon fired. All right, well. I think we have our own damping screws in the sideboard. Spell snare, probably necessary. I don't know how good force negation is. Counter spells, I think I need. Pact, I don't think I need. And then maybe two forces out. I can also bring an ensnaring bridge, maybe. So the thing's like one power. So it doesn't seem great. And also doesn't seem great. I draw land number two. I can whir. New. No. I think this is a mulligan. Ten's reasonable. Pentad prism on two. Spell snare on. I'm gonna back the spell snare. They have a pretty fast combo hand. But pretty fast, I mean, we went on turn four. Whatever this comes off of suspend. I can also put back the preordain, I guess. But I'm not leaving up spell snare. I'm just gonna play waterlog tapped. Plotting the slick shot. Hmm. Yeah, I'm surprised this deck isn't playing any into the flood maws. I go opponent, I believe in you. Might have old Carosa. Holy schmoly. They must be playing the red lay line, right? Veil of Summer. Nine, ten. I'm at seven. They have so many cards in hand. I lost the prowess, and I'm about to lose the prowess again. We have a game three, but this one is doomed. To beat a uh, affinity, you have a single spell. Nah, but I am going to bring the bridge now. Go down. Uh, maybe I don't go down at Tameshi. Now let's go down to Meshi. Yeah, bridge would have been good there because I got to go 
word for bridge and survive. So pretty far off of winning that game, but at least I get to survive. I don't think the hand gets any better than this. That's true, they have ignoble hierarchy plus bump spells. Ignoble. Yeah, that's PT making noise in the background. Typed about something. I think DRC's fine. Not slick shot. I don't know if plotting slick shot. I hit a land drop here. Two wipe at six. I actually think I keep this to meshy. Subtlety pitch counter spell, subtlety pitch fours. If I play to meshy, I'm going to have two white, which means I get to bounce both these back to hand. And that's five mana, six mana. Am I one short still? I'd be one short. Oh, yeah, yeah, I get to do it again. That's right. Yeah, maybe we are okay. Scales up. I think I need to force the scale up. Maybe I don't. Maybe I just let that go. Mm, let it go. If I can get him to tap out and I don't go below three. I did the Vela Summer. Another Ignoble Eric. Alright, I think we're good. We just gotta make sure we're doing it correctly. We're gonna bounce, draw, bounce, draw, or bounce, draw, bounce, make mana. Not draw, you're gonna draw once. I don't know if this draw really matters, I don't think it does. Bounce here. Make a few extra mana as well. Just because, why not? Alright. Won the prowess matchup this time. We actually got to cast some spells. Yeah, Tabashi is a very powerful ram spell for this deck. It does a lot for letting you activate Beltru. In the same turn that you're playing it. I think this is a keep. Any hand with like Lotus Bloom to Meshi seems keepable. Even and then we got the counter spell also. I don't understand how this deck plays now, the type of hands you're looking for. The hands without like a Warrior or a Lotus or a Belcher are tough. Tough to want to keep. Leyline of the Guild Pact. 
Try to go up against Zoo. Zoo might be a little tough. Yeah, that's why you can work for the uh, Lotus as well. So you need like opening hand Lotus or War. Double. Many Lotus. We're 100% going to counterspell whatever this is. By this tab pass. Common dude, a storm opponent's metamorphosis to make blue blue and then word for lotus and then one on turn three. It can be turn three at that point. That is pretty sweet. I wonder if they okay, they exiled Lotus. Making a stupor. We can bounce the suppression back to hand, but maybe we want to bounce something else. Make a lot of mana this turn, I can't do anything with it. Maybe I wanted to bounce a different land back to hand so that way I can bolt it back in and leave up sink into stupor. Oh. Oh, that's pretty good. Blaze. I'm worried about playing a belt at a tournament and I don't know what to put in the sideboard. Do you think Vexing Bobble is good? Um, maybe Vexing Bobble. I think Teferi's like unbeatable for this deck for the most part. Not unbeatable, but Teferi's insane. Depends on what colors you're playing. Either way, Temeshi Loop. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Text just storm. It's storm without the storm. Not right. Um. Subtlety seem pretty good. Harbinger seems great. Spell snare. I don't think I want any force negations. Pact seems fine against stubs. I'll go down A-Pact. I don't think I want the bobbles because they kind of suck in general. I don't know what else is bad here. Down two preordains because I don't really want to shock in this matchup. Cast turn one preordain. Preordain's probably too good to ever cut though. Stormless storm. I think this is a keep. Ten is quite good. Maybe I'm gonna bolt myself for spell snare. Holy schmoly pop patch recruit. Yes. That's sick deck. If it's a scion, I'm just gonna subtlety it, I guess. 
but I'm going to leave up a spell snare here. I think I have all the tools necessary to win this game, so I'm just going to settle too. Putting Scion on top. Got a bit spell snare also, maybe. Not sure what's optimal. Yeah, maybe priority for a land. The one color pentad prism. I don't know if I can win this turn. I'm gonna say probably not. Play Tameshi. And then count from there. They have a bow masters. Is this fine? I do some math. It's like a one, two, five total, down to four. Up to seven, up to seven, down to six, back up to seven, ten. We're for six mana. I think this is fine. I'm pretty sure they're just dead this turn. That helps too. It's just another free spell. They got nothing up. Which means I don't think there's anything I'm supposed to be scared of. You do have to tap this, so. Blue, blue, blue. Go for four. Grab the belcher, belcher you. That's kind of disgusting how consistent it is on turn four. Is this Splinter Twin? Alright, chat, prediction time. Will we four dash? If they're too fast, then that's a problem. Combo decks that are faster than you also seems pretty tough. This is a one lander, but it has a pre ordain in it. How bad could it be? <laughs> Splinter triplets. Yeah, four consigned decks do seem really tough to beat. Think of the stupor. Keep that one on top. Play it tapped because I can't really do anything with it. One man doesn't help me. I'll play like back to back Pentad Prisms. Or if I draw a land, I could just whir for Lotus. I think the really big buff to this deck is that you're not going to get griefed anymore. Not getting griefed is so important.
Reprieve. I thought I was playing against Gorios. Is this not Gorios? Yo, Ball Channel, thank you for the follow. Is this not Gorios? I'm not playing against. Minamo? Control? I think it's probably control. Wrath X2. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I think this is fine. And I go war for the Lotus afterwards. One copy of Lotus, please. Lotus. Nameshi. Lotus. Bounce. The Sulphur Springs. Three Tameshi's best Tameshi. Surprise, I'm comboing. I'm comboing with so much counter magic backup. I'll do pitching wrath this guys. Eh, no. Can't let you do that. I need this for science. I think I undervalued just how good Tameshi is in this deck. So Tameshi build. Alright. Alright, alright. Now this is the counterspell matchup. So Spell Snare is probably fine against all the counter spells. Imagine if I got stifled. I hope so. Make a cool story. Remember that time I got stifled? So I just want as much counter magic as possible. I just drop the preordains because I'm gonna have infinite time in this matchup, so I don't really need to dig for specific pieces, I don't think. Act of negation does seem important. I could also drop two bobbles. And then take two preordains back, actually. For how bad the bobbles are. There's definitely some changes that this deck needs. But I think it's a good shell. Which is Scary, sad and scary. His hands okay. Not the worst. It's gonna be a keep from me. I wonder if I'm gonna ever cast Seagate Restoration. We live in a time where Seagate Restoration is something I'm gonna cast. In the middle of comboing off. Probably not. Voted no, not out of spite, but out of 4 1 the odds. That's fair. I can't really argue with that. Opponents appears to be tapping out for something. Brought back. Whoa. This actually matter. I actually don't think I care. It's back bit. Smile. Alright, well, with that Tameshi's draw, 
the chances of me casting Seagate Restoration are increasing. During your return, your opponents can't cast spells or activate abilities of artifacts, creatures, or enchantments. Grand Abolisher resolves. <laughs> Baby Teff. I'm surprised to see that they're playing Grand Abolisher in the same deck that they're playing Wrath of the Skies. Martyr? Okay, I'm starting to connect the dots now. Oh no. Stone Rain. Oh, it's so Jover. I can't take my stuff off of Suspend anymore. <laughs> I couldn't have forced it because of the Grand Abolisher. Small Tef, Big Tef. Blue Tef, Green Tef. I think we should just concede. I'm getting Stone Rained again. I got bullied. Dang, I was gonna hit the Belcher too. Absolutely bullied. Yeah, nice counters I have there. It would be a shame if somebody Grand Abolishered me and then Teferied me. I don't think Floodboon's that good. Somebody double way. I mean, we could try it. I don't know. They're Ring deck at heart, though, so it's like. I'm just going to try to draw a million cards with the ring. Ah, that was too late. Ten's close, but not quite there. Keep this put back. One force negation. It's one card on top, huh? No Lotus, I know no Lotus. Sometimes we have to keep hands that we're not super proud of. Like this one. Can you not Stone Rain me? This hand's getting worse and worse with every draw step. Hmm, good thing I didn't bring those Harbingers. They have Plains, Plains, Shadowy Backstreets. If I would have fixed their mana and let them to ferry me. Yeah, full grip of negation almost. They have eight cards in hand. Hey, the specimen. Belcher. No. All right, opponent. Deal with this Belcher. No. Try again. So I could say no to the next one as well. Belcher. Alright, we got there. Yay. 
we be getting stone rained on turn two by a 2-2 with first strike and flying. This deck makes me upset. Uh, why is this deck good? Just combo deck with a bunch of counter magic. This is what Splinter Twin would look like. It's It shouldn't be this good, but it is. And this isn't even in the optimal build because I think the bobbles suck. And you should probably be playing like zero counter spells and then the otters and Bellagis instead with Flare of Denial. I think that would probably be a little bit better of a build. I do like the words though. Like I think you could sub probably these 10 cards. Yeah, for Otter Falaji Flare. Have you peaked? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third rate duelist. I can't take it anymore. <laughs>